report the news that nobody has the balls to report? Why am I the only one breaking stories like this? You can call me up the Turtle Boy, Turtle Boy, Clarence, Aiden. I don't care what you call me. And if you do not say that you are going to take my baby out of revenge and make him a transgender baby. I think they don't like the things that I'm saying and they want me to stop saying them, but I'm not. I'm never going to stop. Now, these are the kind of stories, guys, that must be told. I'm just a guy who's breaking stories and reporting news from my basement. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hold on one minute. All right, so I'm doing an impromptu live. Uh, wasn't planning on doing it. So fucking Mike Gianetti, the only reason I'm doing this is I've been trying to get this fucking snitch on the line with me for how long? And he's just been dodging me and he can't find him. Mike Giannetti, if you don't know who he is, he's the fucking crackhead, uh, the crackhead killer from uh, Hyde Park, the Hyde Park meth mongoose who taught it uh, a couple of months back. We blogged about him after he, I don't even know, he did a whole bunch of junky shit, um, acted a fool. He was funny. Well, then over the summer, he went and ran down to the courthouse and got a fucking restraining order against me. He went down there and cried and basically said, oh, he's, your honor, he's putting a knife to my throat. He actually staged a fucking video with a goddamn knife to his throat. Uh, that he, either he was holding to his throat or some crackhead was doing that for him. So anyway, uh, he has been dodging me since then. I obviously got an attorney. He had that famous line in court where he said, uh, did you or did you not? Say you were going to take my son, make him a transgender baby. People are saying no chat. I see a chat. Uh, let's see. Diane's saying no chat. Chat's on. I see a lot of people in chat. So uh, anyway, so he starts messaging me all of a sudden out of the blue tonight. This is why I'm on. So I'll play some of these fucking messages if this bitch doesn't come on. I haven't even heard a word he said. I haven't even heard a word he said. Let me play this real quick. Sergeant, is it true? No, Connie's, you be, what, you fucking retarded? Jamie, aren't you the guy that fucking, like, fell in love with Clarissa after, like, a day? Isn't that you? Isn't that you, guy? Didn't you fucking stick your fucking fist in a fat broad's ass? Isn't that you, Jamie? Yeah, how about you shut the fuck up, dude? You're not exactly fucking welcome here, fucking pussy. Anyway, um, so let's uh, let's play. Let me play this fucking voicemail he left me. So here we go. Well, so Ernie's like, what's he saying? You actually think you're going to be able to understand a word he said? No, that's the whole point. Any, either way, I haven't been able to confront him about this. I'm still pissed. It's like, are you fucking like hardcore? Are you the, are you the hard park meth mongoose? Are you the selfie king? Like, are you the badass you portray yourself to be? Or are you a fucking snitch, dude? Which one is it? We all know the answer to that. 
So let me play this message I got. I told you how I met Lisa and how shit was intimate, but we didn't do anything. And she would always tell me no. And you switched up my words and made me sound like a fucking rapist. You're a fucking hack. So he's mad because I made him sound like a rapist, which is exactly what he is. I don't know if anyone can get that clip for me. Uh, I don't have all my genetic clips. This is an impromptu live. I would have had more time to prepare, but I didn't know what the fuck he wanted. He called me. How many times here? Six fucking times. Six times. So here's another one. Around about, oh, taking my son, making him transgender, which you did perjury. But you can say all that shit, do all that shit, plus buy your fucking right to get out of trouble from your students. What the fuck does that mean? Like, what the fuck does that mean? So anyway, did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? So Janetti's saying that, and he's, uh, I'm over here. Let me see if I can hide this. How do I hide this fucking shit? How do I just show the Janetti one? Oh, Jamie, you're the one that got fingers stuck up your ass. Buy a fat chick. That's you, Jamie. So how about you just kind of shut the fuck up, Jamie? You're a joke. Anyway, apparently Mike Janetti is chickened out. Let's try calling him. I've tried video calling him a couple times. We'll call him right now. Fuck it. We'll regular call him. Can you guys hear this, by the way? Oh, thank you, Lord. Come on, dude. What this guy fucking disappoints me. What a fucking bitch. Unbelievable. I should have answered when he called and just kept him on the line and started the live. I knew he'd fucking do this. People are like, wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. I'm like, he's gonna be sober tomorrow. That's the problem with Janetti. He's fucking probably on some crack bender right now. And I've been waiting for my chance at this motherfucker. I really fucking hate him. I hate Mike Janetti. We all laugh at him, whatever, like a fucking, ever since he crossed the line this summer and went and got that restraining order on me. I mean, I don't mind all the cracked out shit. That's all amusing, whatever. But going to that fucking judge, judge pork fried rice there and crying like the little bitch that he is. Oh, your honor, should we, should we replay some of that shit? Should we replay some of that shit? Hold on. Let's find it. I'm going to message him one more time. Say, where the fuck are you at, bitch? Why are you hiding? Rapist. And he invites me to these rooms. Do you guys know what these rooms are? What the fuck are these rooms? I keep getting invited to these rooms. The fuck? Room unavailable. I've never made one of these rooms, but he makes them all the time. And he used to send them to me. But again, he's been hiding ever since. Oh, your honor. Let me see if I could find the, the tape of Janetti doing that. Hmm, where's that fucking file? Actually, I got it on file. I know where I can get it. Here it is, okay. Let's listen to this motherfucker cry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask you the questions, okay? You did ask me. I have cell phone evidence too, ma'am. A lot of it. I don't know if you would have time to do it all today. 
All right, sir, uh, Mr. Giannini, this is your request for harassment Did? prevention order against Mr. Padin and Aiden Kearney. Yeah, there's supposed to be two separate Okay, ones. let me just slow down. Mm. I'm, I'm going to ask you the questions, okay? You did ask me a question. Shut the fuck up, Giannini. Where are you at? Do I'm you want so me to hear this, this or not? Yes, ma'am. All right, so um, the affidavit that you wrote for Mr. Padin, who wrote this? My girlfriend. When did she write this? Um... We've been talking to the clerk and he's been telling us okay, to set so this it up. Is about the other guy on you to the knife to my face. They <laughs> sent it to me okay. out of revenge for my girlfriend and me for getting our son back to the door still right. All right. And then who is Mr. Aiden okay, Kearney? Here we go. Aiden Kearney's part of his associate, but he's it's part of a whole different broad of stuff that I that has been going on with the court that I wrote. The police department heard heard some video stuff. And Josh has already been here twice with this song guy. So what's what's Mr. Kearney's relationship or basically, with Mr. Padin? Basically, this guy is a YouTube guy. Who, Mr. YouTube. Kearney? Yes. Okay. And he basically went after you know, my girlfriend and me for getting our son back and the system's messed up this and that. And he made some calls at DCF. DCF said it was fake calls and let go. During the whole year, he's been slandering me, putting things up on Facebook, putting posters out, threatening me. I have the tape. What he's kinds of threats? Kidnapping, making my son transgender. What he's kinds up. of threats is he making? Kidnapping my son. making. He's threatening to kidnap your son. Oh, shut the, the fuck up. The police heard it on his Ryan. little cast. Okay. Out of revenge for me putting him out there about being a teacher that sexually, sexual misconduct on our teacher. He said he was gonna quote unquote foster my kid out of revenge quote, unquote. what he did and take him, then make him a transgender baby. And the police officer heard that it's in the report. I can't believe this. Right. Along with this shit. Uh, videos of me and my girl going in the house and sent, which they seen. Along with, um, uh, have you ever seen him in person? Posted, yes. I, it was a time. When's the last time you saw him in person? Well, they, just when he shows the videos back to me that they send of me and my, my, my son. Are you talking about social media? He's hacked into all my social media and accounts. So the question is, I understand what you're saying to me. I Believe it or not, I, I'm picking it up, mm -hmm. all right? I, I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. all right? You don't have to explain it again. Yes, ma'am. I'm asking you, did you ever see him in person? Yes. All right, when was that? A year ago, a month ago? It, 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 something that went down, I had the iPhone with a lot of other evidence, but I transferred it to this, and finally I got a hold of the footage. They had come down here, yeah, somebody put a knife to me, they had took the phone, oh, and the they made tools. me do a oh, confession yeah. online. An online they made me do a confession online, face. yeah. They sent it to me, and I had another phone get it, because when they send it, they send it from like my Instagram account or something. So I have to catch it because it looks like I'm sending it to myself. Oh, right, right. of course. Plus I have um, all the phone subscribers saying, yes, your phone was hacked, yes, it was synced, and yes, this all and right. this. So that. my question is, when I did you did. ever, if you did, it's all right if you haven't seen I, him. I've seen him pull away in a truck, and yesterday to see if they were following me, like my phone suggested, I went to Costco's in Dedham down in Dead End Street, and the same truck where I seen them in was there within a half an hour. I was in the passenger seat, kind of sat down and looked up. The guy was like filming me. I got out of the car. He put the phone down and left real quick, like kind of. And you believe that's up. Mr. Kearney? That is the truck that they were in that night that the knife attempt was. I never said anything about that. So what, my question is, you believe that who you saw yesterday was Mr. Kearney? Of associates, yes. He has a few drafts of him. I have over 400 messages of him and his whole little car. All right, so your complaint with Mr. Kearney is threats via social media and posting things that Cyber are false. Bullying. Cyber, oh, false. Cyber bullying. Cyber bullying. Cyber bullying. I'm saying that I'm a sex offender, which I'm not, you can see. Saying that uh, uh, um, I, I murdered I my ex girlfriend. Where's the one where he admits to the rape? It's have not that? true. She and nothing happened with that. You'd see that. Just stuff that wasn't true because I outed him on the sexual misconduct thing at Shepherd High.
So that was my point of making where he tried to send DCF. He's going to start you know, calling me at fucking 2 a.m. Fucking hate Janetti. Oh, I hate this guy so much. I found out that he's been doing this I for a while. fucking hate him. Understood. All right. So I now, used Mr. to fucking Kearney, think he was amusing. Mr. Like, done fucking to you since hate he, Mike Janetti. Listen to his fucking voice in here cry and whine. Little crackhead cunt. As you can see, I'm not right and we've been fighting back and forth. Somehow he's got him, and I have evidence. All that, like it's like serious. It's going to be on civil. All that. I didn't. I didn't get the evidence. And what's the same? Once you get something done, he had to take your computers and your phone down here. So they're ready to do something. But where's this fucking cunt at? Like hacking into the Xfinity to where I got a, a, a video of what I was saying in the room the night before. This is what just just made me just just have it. And they had like a, a, a like a wire. They were listening to the conversation. So when you're saying that, these are things that are... Listen he's to me, hold on. Listen to me, hold on, before you begin. When you say they, I don't understand what that means. It says in the police report. So uh, I'm just asking about what Mr. Padim did. So tell me what Mr. Mr. Padim has done. Mr. Padim, what he's doing now, even if he wasn't in cahoots with Aiden, All it's right. getting ridiculous because... The first harassment thing, once my son was there, he starts yelling racial slurs and he's kind of a little bit gone. And I'm not all there either. I have some mental issues, as you guys don't know. <laughs> but um, the first harassment, after I did that, he went to DCF, called DCF, and then called Georgetown, which led to an eviction. And then DCF, they didn't do anything because it was false. But it, it, it's all out of revenge that he did this. And calling could, DCF and calling housing. Yes. All and, right. And, and all, the DCF got straightened and the housing might get straightened, but they wanted him to stop and show out. Since then, there's been three other occasions, two with knives. And the second one, they said they were going to send a summons. I don't know if they did, but right after Judge Coffey dismissed it after the arraignment, I, I mean, I'm, I think I'm supposed to get three chances to show up or at least benefit the dollar one chance, but didn't go in the first time because I had so many court dates, I had messed up, but... He let him go. The minute he seen him, he got his colonies up, excuse my language, and came after me again with the knife. Slapped in my fire, slapped in slap, car slap, too. But this time he had the phone out of my hand and I had to run to security. And then security was giving me a hard time because they were saying, well, I don't belong there. And I can come and I can go. I can't right, when did this happen with the knife incident? Again, so again, the knife incident bullshit. Let me play this fucking video. This guy... With the night, this is what he's talking about. This is what this cunt went and did. I fucking hate him. I'm like, I've been waiting to get a shot at this guy for months. And he messages me tonight. And I'm like, there he fucking is. He's impossible to find. He's calling me nonstop. And then this is what he fucking. Mm. <sighs> That's him putting a fucking knife through his own throat. That actually happened in real life. He went and told that to a fucking judge like a bitch. She took him seriously. And now he's nowhere to be fine. So we're going to replay real quick the rape video. Check this one out. Good good person. Person. She, she was a, a good, good girl. girl. Like she, she was. was. And, and I understand, understand why everybody, everybody got mad because, because of, you know, Mike's Nettie, you know, he's sitting to see her last. We love each other. We love each other a lot. And 
a lot, a lot of, it of it was just good, good sex. sex. You know what I mean? Because, because she's just like, like you want to... She's, she's at that, that point, point in her life where she's, she's just fucking, you want to not get played, played by her. By her. Yeah, like, like, she was like, like beautiful, beautiful lady, lady, you know, you nice know, body, nice body, she had a good, good heart, pretty eyes, eyes good, good person, she was a good, good girl, girl. Like, like she was. was. And, and I, I understand, understand why everybody got mad because of you know, you know, Mike's name, you know, he shit because he's here last. We love each other. We love each other a lot. And a lot, a lot of, of it was, was just good, good sex. sex. You know what I mean? Because, because she's just like, like you want to... She's at that point in her life where she's just fucking... You want to not get played, played by her. her. Well, like, yeah, like, she was like, beautiful, laying there, you know, you know nice, nice body. She had a good, good heart, pretty eyes, eyes good, good person. She was a good girl. Like, she was. And I understand why everybody got mad because... You know, Mike's name, you know, he's shit because he's here last. We love each other. We love each other, love each other a lot. Is this the right and one? And a lot, lot of it was just good, good sex. sex. You know I don't think mean? this is the right one. I'm looking for the one where he talks about rape. Hold on. Yeah, cat and oh, this is the one. With, I found it. Sleep. I found it. Okay, hold on. This is when he talks about the same chick. Hold on. Hold on one sec. And if she, she even gets she tell you, like, yeah, I've told them no one's wanted it many of times, and you stopped when I said stop. When I first made love to her, she was like, stop, no, stop. And I was like trying to creep my way and say, no, nah, no, nah, nah. And then I, once I got it in, she was like, nah, stop. And then she gave me the go. I mean, she would, some girls play like that. And I say like that sounded like a weirdo. Because like, yeah, we made good, we had good sex. And she knew me. And she died only in my presence, like an hour of me being even awake. But when she's sitting on the bed, she had short shorts on. I was a man, you know what I mean? Like, you know, beautiful girl, man, like, you know, I mean, come on, you can't beat that. I loved her. So she had these little shots, and like I said, and I was just, we just started fucking. Excuse my French. Yeah, but I, I, to me, I made love to her that night. I don't say it because then people will be like, oh, he's a creep or a weirdo. Play that cat and mouse game with, with sleeping with me. And if she would be here, she'd tell you, like, yeah, I told him no one flaunted it many different times, and he stopped when I said stop. When I first made love to her, she was like, stop, no, stop. And I was like trying to creep my way and say, no, nah, no, nah, nah. And then I, once I got it in, she was like, no, nah, stop. And then she gave me the go. I mean, she, she, some, some girls, girls play, play like, like that. that. And then yeah, she, like, some girls play like that. It's called rape. So that's what he's talking about. He, might, I don't know if he just heard this, that I found this tape. And I found out that he confessed to rape on video. And somehow I never heard that before. But again... Uh, we're gonna call him again. I mean, he's probably on a fucking crack bender. I have been trying to reach him for months now to call him out on losing to me in court, like the bitch that he is. Gooped is back. Nice. Hey, is this it? Oh, no answer. God damn it. Yeah, the made love part is. The creepiest part about that, I think. <laughs> Remember that video he made about some chick that he banged and he said she wasn't even good enough for the Holiday Inn? Yeah, maybe that chick should keep her fucking mouth shut, too. Just a thought. Just a thought. Okay. Um, anyway, so it is what it is at this point. He ain't answering. I fucking did this impromptu live. Just because this motherfucker thought he could be cute and start messaging me. I'm sure he'll start. I'll be getting calls from him at two in the morning. He'll never hear this because he's a crackhead and he doesn't understand anything. So if I say, like, Janetti, come on the show tomorrow night, it's complete luck. Complete luck. Uh, so we'll see if he comes on. Um, I don't really know what tomorrow night's going to be because there hasn't been, obviously, a couple days without content here with the holiday. Uh, we'll see what happens. I've um, I got some messages that I want to show up on the screen. 
uh, that I can show tomorrow. They're they're pretty interesting messages. You're going to want to read these uh, that have been coming in the last couple of days. Um, so, yeah, I mean, whatever. We're not reliving the whole Genetti thing. I just thought this bitch could call in, but I guess he couldn't. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know. Any questions? You'll get Mikey on. Get him on, please. He was on Facebook. I heard he's on Tinder now. Somebody uh, said that they may or may not have matched with him. No names. How's my Thanksgiving? Awful. Thanksgiving sucks. Thanksgiving food, I starved. That's what I did on Thanksgiving. I fucking starved. I went to, I went to McDonald's at 4 o'clock and they closed at 3. I didn't eat shit all day. I had a bagel in the morning. And then... I don't eat Thanksgiving food. It's fucking disgusting. And I'm so sick of fucking people pretending that this is an acceptable fucking meal. Thanksgiving. It's fucking bullshit. From now on, I'm just cooking my own shit. My son had chicken nuggets. I was jealous of him. He got to eat chicken nuggets. I sat there. I'm like, I tried to eat the turkey. I'm like, Pugh! I'd rather starve than eat that fucking bullshit fucking bird. I'm not eating this bird. These birds that wander just on the fucking roads. You see them everywhere. I'm not eating that shit. It's disgusting. Oh, the pilgrims ate. Yeah, because there was nothing around. Because they had, cause they didn't bring pigs with them from England. If they did, they could make a million and one better freaking dinners than goddamn turkey. It sucks. It sucks. And then the cranberry sauce? The fuck is wrong with you people? Who the fuck eats that shit? I've never seen one of you motherfuckers out there. Oh, I love cranberry sauce. How come I never see anybody ordering that? How come I never go to a restaurant? It's like, would you like a side of cranberry sauce with that? No. It's always French fries, mac and cheese, fucking coleslaw, something like that. Because that's good. Everybody likes that food. Nobody likes fucking cranberry sauce. But you all have to pretend like you like this shit for one fucking day a year. Don't you? Don't you? But you know it fucking sucks. You know how fucking terrible it is. Enough of this shit. Fuck Thanksgiving. It's the worst fucking day of the year. Nothing comes close. I go fucking hungry every fucking year. I went to McDonald's. It was closed. So you know what I did? I went to fucking Dunkin' Donuts and I had a fucking sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich for fucking Thanksgiving dinner. That was my Thanksgiving dinner. That's what. I, that was how my Thanksgiving was. Unbelievable. And the fucking bears couldn't cover the spread. By one point against fucking Detroit. Are you kidding me? They went for a field goal at the end. They could have scored a fucking touchdown. No problem. Unbelievable. Yes, the Boston firefighter was uh, fired. He was fired uh, several hours after I wrote that blog. So that's interesting. I did not intend to do that, but fuck that guy also. How am I doing? I've been better, to be perfectly honest with you. Dealing with a lot of bullshit behind the scenes. Oh, great. We're getting a call. Janetti's calling. Here he is. Okay. Here he is. There's the snitch. There's the snitch. This motherfucker doesn't know it's still ringing. He's so fucking. Yeah. You got control of my phone, bitch. I took control of your phone? You been have control of my phone. Fuck your How phone. How do I hit it? How do I hit it? Snitch. Yeah. Oh, snitch, no. snitch! You didn't call the cops on my fucking kid. You didn't call the cops on the hit and run. You ran to that fucking judge Riceroni there and cried like snitch the fucking cunt that my you are. Social media shit. Not huh? Nice no, I'm never giving that back. It's fucking mine. It it, no, fuck you, fuck you. It's mine. You little no. fucking you bitch. You rapist piece of shit. Get to do it. You're a you fucking rapist. Son, Shut the fuck up, Jenny. Oh yeah. Fuck your raps, motherfucker. I fucking Yo, wrapped you up a long time ago, you fucking cunt. Shit you sent. 
Huh? Yeah. Why'd you run to the judge? Oh, the judge, again? he's crying. He's sending again? people after me with knives. Oh, judge student? fucking him. Oh, you're so yeah, much nicer than the other judge. Up. You're so much nicer than Judge Coffee. He's mean to me. Oh, Judge Riceroni, you're my favorite judge. No you care about that. my feelings. Shut no up. Oh, yeah, you did, you no fucking cunt that. bitch. That's what no you are, you that. fucking snitch. No you fucking no rapist that. piece of shit. I you heard what you fucking said. You know what you did to that fucking name, girl. You fucking raped her. No you fucking that. kill women. I got the fuck you. Right here, fuck you. Let me drop it. Shut the fuck up. Shut the You're fuck up, you snitch, bitch. Ryan and running and crying to the fucking cops. You probably like Thanksgiving too, too, don't you, huh? You probably eat fucking cranberry sauce. What about her freedom of speech? Who's speech? Who's speech? The student you raped. How about this? Why are you on Tinder matching with chicks when you got Caitlyn at home? Does Caitlyn know you're on Tinder? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I'm the not on Tinder. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you. I got Tinder, proof. I got proof. When you got Caitlyn at home. You make my profiles. I can make I don't make any fucking profiles. profiles for you. Nobody I'm gives not, a fuck about you. Why is the fucking show playing in the background? Are you that retarded? What do you mean, why? Why well, you got a green screen in this one, and then you act like you're a big boss in that one? Huh? Huh? Look at you in the green. In the green. That's how you control my shit, you bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Fake. You're fake. Okay. So anyway, are you gonna? Why'd you run to the judge and cry? Why'd you run to the judge and cry? I said, let me get my social media stuff back up. So why'd you? But no, but why'd you say I was putting a knife to your throat? Why'd you say I was putting a knife to your throat? Never said that. If I did, why didn't I? Oh, you didn't say that. Let's play it right now. Let's see if you said that. Let's see. Everything set up. You put the background right after judge. You edited it. Let it play after the arraignment. I'm, I mean, I'm, I think I'm supposed to get the whole thing. Show up, or at least minute for the deal, the one chance, but didn't go in the first time because I had so many court dates. I had messed up, but you let him go. The minute he seen him, he got his cojones up, excuse my language, and came after me again with the knife. Slapping my fire, slap, 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 too. But this time, he had the phone out of my hand, and I had to run to security. And then security was giving me a hard time because they were saying, well, I don't belong here. And I can't Talking about the knife thing, but you are here. When did this happen with the knife incident? Yeah, 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 the knife. The cops are supposed to send us on. Yeah, oh, we talked a couple weeks ago, weeks ago, a year ago. A couple weeks ago. And then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so a couple weeks ago. And then he did Just follow my train of thought, okay? Listen to you crying to this judge, huh? To follow with me. Listen to you crying to that fucking judge, huh? you talking about I'm going to murder Hey, how'd you do with that order? Did you get that order around me? Or did it get dropped? No, but after you, you sent my dick pics to a bunch, about 10 people, you're fucked. So how'd that order go? Did you get the order? How's the next one going to go when you sent in my dick pics? Uh, I got you on tape right now threatening to fucking make shit up, so I don't think it's going to go very fucking well for you. you. You're the one that controls all my social media. Do you really believe that? Are you that high? I got Diana saying, I'll give you back, Mike, for John, if you just go on the show. Just go on the show. Just go on the show. Who's Diane? You know who Diane is. I can match his vote up. She called DCF on me, and I matched his vote up to Woods Emerson. Nice try, though. You went to DCF, and they matched me up on Clarence with no, Emerson. No, Diane or me, we called DCF on me again. You're a snitch. You know that? That's why you, you got no snitch. respect in the streets. Yeah, I got plenty of respect. You got no streets. respect. Nobody likes you. Shut the fuck up. Nobody I haven't likes been out you. In 25 years. You stay out of fucking jail because you snitch on people. Everybody knows it. It's the worst kept secret in Boston. Cases. I've been to jail nine times. You fucking oh, congratulations! Beat yeah, you did a couple nights here and there. That's it. No, no, yeah, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. You became somebody's fucking cell block, fucking show and tell partner, and that's it. That's it. Oh no! Come and make me. Come and make me, tough guy. You know where I live. Come and make me, tough guy. Come on. Called housing. Huh? Called housing. You called housing. You called unemployment. You called social security. You called both my jobs. You don't Why have do a I fucking job. I don't need to come do nothing. Dude, you set up that whole Walpole thing. None of your fans even came. What fucking Walpole? What are you talking you about? Went into Walpole, like, I'm going to talk against these people. What, you try to set me up? Think I was going to go down there? I did go to Walpole. I did go to Walpole. Yeah. I gave a fucking None speech outside. Went. Huh? None of your fans went. Yeah, I told them not to. Oh, you told them not to? Yeah. I was watching. Look how fake you are, dude. Look how fake you are on the background. Huh? That's how fake you are. Where are you Look right now? Crack then? Look, no, he's fake, fake. Yeah. He's, I know, I'm with Lionel. He's fucking way too. 
in our mind, it's a green screen. Yeah. So bottom line is here, why'd you go and cry to the judge? For you to give me my social media account. Nah, that's not why I you went. You went to cry. Guy, you said you were scared of me. You said you were scared of me. I'm so scared of Turtle I mean, Boy. He's crazy. gonna hurt me. He's Dude, gonna kidnap my son and make him a transgender baby. Oh no, my transgender baby is gonna fucking be sad you without his crackhead daddy. Oh no. You said I tried to tie your wife up as a Wizard of Oz rap that you fucking fucked up on me. You so, think Diane is my it. wife? Do you honestly believe that? Do you want to hear the you rap? Think, do you really think that? Do you really think him? Diane is my wife? I don't care who she is. She's related to you. That's why DCF can't touch me because of you. You called for all your fans to come after me. That is defamation and slander. You're fucked. You're going. It's gonna going come. where? I want all my social media. I'm not giving back. you your social media accounts back. Stuff. They're mine. Dude, she can't take my dick pics and my pornos and send them to Nobody the wants to see your fucking <laughs> dick pics, dude. Then why'd she send them? It's against the law. Even if I okay it, it's against the law. Actually, you it's can't... it's I, I it's actually not, believe it or not. Yeah, re Unless you live in New Hampshire, like a place like Concord, New Hampshire. If you do that in Concord, New Hampshire, and you send them out, you will be under investigation you by the police because it's actually illegal in New Hampshire. Library, but though, in Massachusetts, as it working. turns out, it's not. So if you're smart, you do it in fucking Massachusetts. But if you're a fucking dumbass, you do it in Concord, New Hampshire. You might do that. Wizard of Oz, Aiden Kearney, hiding behind a curtain. Brett, you a cowardly lion. That's all you All you ever have is Wizard of Oz fucking things. Toto, Toto, Lady Gaga, Gaga, Toto, Lady Toto. Oh, with the Wicked Witch of the West, and I am the best Toto. Toto, blog that, blog that. That's every fucking rap you have, dude. It's whack. I wrote it. No, you ain't a rapper. Ago, I smoke me. you. I smoke you. You can't smoke. You have an emoji you know named you. after you. That's how fucking bad you are. Shut You're horrible. You shut up. I live in the what? You couldn't get me evicted. You couldn't get my kid taken. I can't you get you nothing. evicted if you're fucking homeless, you fucking piece of shit. I'm not fucking I'm homeless, dude. Look at me, bro. You out of your fucking mind. I'm G to a T. Oh, you rented me. a room. Congratulations. I don't rent a room. Gaga, Toto, yeah. Wicked Witch of the East, Toto. Yeah. Do you even know what Gaga is? What? You don't even know what Gaga and paparazzi is on the metaphor, do you? What are they? You tell me. Shut up. You're a fool. That's yeah, you don't know either. Are. You're a fucking you boomer, too. Gaga and paparazzi is on the metaphor. That's how fake you are. You what are they? You tell me. Hey, at least I got my kids upstairs. You don't got your fucking kid right now, do you? Yeah, because no one, I don't call on your kid. You don't got your fucking kid, do you? You I don't. Have, you know I have my kids. No, bitch. show me, show me. You ain't got the kid. I'm not gonna show you when you fuck. Because you, you don't have them. You don't have them. You showed me you before. You don't got them. You don't got them. I took you in no. court. I took your fucking no. social media. I own you, motherfucker. I, right, you and you showed me. up to court two hours late, like the, the filthy fucking junkie that you are. Probably couldn't All fucking right. afford the All bus right. fare, crackhead. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. You're gonna cry. Yep. You're gonna go cry to your fucking, you know, Judge Riceroni again. Oh, Judge fucking pork dumpling. I'm so sad. Me so sad. Oh yeah. Yeah, Judge Mai Tai. Me so sad. Oh, so me sad one time, Judge. Oh, Turtle Boy made me so sad. Yeah, that's what you did. You cried like the fucking the bitch that you are. That's why you get no respect in these streets. None. None. What about the student, Aiden? What about the girl you paid off? What girl? The girl you paid off. You were a teacher at Shepherd High. Oh, Caitlin? Caitlin Schumacher? Yeah. No, nobody wants to touch that disease-infested whore. The one that you knocked up? No, no one wants to touch that nasty pussy. The one that you've been banging since she was fucking 14? You stole it because you got dumped for Joe Amoroso? Imagine getting dumped for Joe Amoroso. You did. You got dumped for Joe Amoroso. That's how fucking pathetic you are. Why do you gotta steal my social media? God, I hate you. Fucking everybody hates you. Just seriously. Nobody hates me. Everybody informs me. You've what you killed said. so many people. You You've killed I so many people. When are you going to die? Seriously. Because I'm like, seriously. Boss, I'm gonna keep fighting till I die. Yeah, any day now would be great. Yeah, Dream. the world would yeah. be a better place with fucking out you. Rocky you know that. The world will be in a better fucking place without you. Next time you fucking, you know, you, you, you do that knife stunt, it would be a shame if it fucking slipped, wouldn't it? Fucking asshole. God, I hate fucking... you. God, I hate you. you. Know were you molested as a like kid? Fun. Were you molested as a kid? No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. I think you were. I think that makes Why a lot of sense now. So much, Aiden? Huh? Why you talking about kids so much? Huh? At least I got Why my kids. Fuck? You don't got your kids. 
You see your wife holds down, you, you idiot. Okay, okay. So you're going to call back in tomorrow? Listen, Let's see listen, the room. Let's see the room. You guys, everything you want me to ask him, go ahead. Okay, okay. So you're going to call back in tomorrow? Oh, you hung up. He hung up. Isn't that a goddamn shame? Isn't that a goddamn fucking shame? I fucking hate that guy. So with every ounce of my fucking being, I understand he's fucking crazy. Like with the whole like turtle voice stole my fucking whatever the social media. I don't know if you, I, he might actually believe that he's that fucking stupid. He might be that stupid. I don't know. However, the whole like, and so that might be legit when he goes down there, he might actually believe the words that are coming out of his mouth. But the whole, like, oh, he's trying to hurt me. He's sending people to hurt me. That, that is fucking made up bullshit. And that is him crying, fucking crying. And I understand he's a crackhead and this fucking judge is a joke for listening to him. But he still went down there and did it. He's a, yeah, he's a real tough guy. Oh, I went to jail before. Yeah, why'd you get out so quick, huh? Interesting how you always seem to get out of jail despite killing all these women, huh? Fucking asshole. As amusing as I is, I really can't wait for him to fucking die. I don't want him to kill himself, okay? We're not doing that thing again. But that motherfucker deserves to die. Like, nobody should kill him or anything like that. I'm not saying anything like that. But we live in a country where the death penalty exists. It's for people like him who literally kill people. He's killed multiple women and gotten away with it. And then... He has no soul. Like to do this to girl, he scouts girls when they're young, feeds them fucking drugs, and then watches them die in his fucking house. And he rapes them too. He fucking rapes them. He's the literally the most his existence is so fucking destructive, pointless, and it just has no reason to go on any longer. And that's that's all there is to it. It's all there is to, to it. He's not going to go to jail because we live in a state where snitches in this fucking... I could do a blog on snitches. The fucking amount of assholes who are roaming the streets in this state because they snitch. Because these fucking district attorneys can't make cases on their own. So they have to rely on people like Mike Gennetti to make fucking cases. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Fuck him. All right. So anyway, that, I, I'm glad I got him on. He wanted to run his mouth to me. Whatever. You guys have any questions or anything? Go ahead. It's been a long day. Well, I'm sure the person who matched with him was just doing it as a joke to see if he'd fucking swipe back, and of course he did. So many. No, they don't. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No killing anyone. Why is... Okay, first of all, Jamie, how about this? Why did you fucking... Allow a fat bitch to stick a finger up your ass. And why did you fall in love with Clarissa on the fucking phone? Tell me that, huh? Why did you allow a fat bitch to stick a finger up your ass? Shut the fuck up, Jamie Shram. You fucking little bitch. So, uh, I, if you, if you have to ask that question, like Connie, I don't know if that's a genuine question or not. Connie actually messaged, uh, apparently somebody went on Connie's show, made a Turtle Boy account, and it was like, well, you want to be my co-host if you were that retarded that you actually thought that was me? Whatever. I mess uh, Connie messaged me about it, and I'm like, yeah, dude, you know that wasn't me, right? He goes, oh, I know. He goes, I'm just fucking with them. I like fucking with them. I'm like, okay. Him and I are not cool. I have, like, my policy on Connie was always the same. I have no interest in Connie. None. 
I'm not the one that wrote about him. Like, he's old news. I don't find him particularly interesting. That's it. That's my relationship with Connie. Okay? So, next. I'm going to have David back on the show tomorrow night, too. So, we're going to keep trying other people out, but I'm going to have David back in the meantime. I haven't watched the January 6th thing, but I need to watch it. Again, if you're interested in, in co-hosting, trying out for it, email me at turtlevoiceports at gmail.com. Okay, any other questions, guys? I have a lot to say about some shit. I'm holding a lot of shit in, but it's sad to see. Let's just say that. It's fucking sad. Pathetic, too, but sad mostly. And if you're supporting that shit, like, I don't know what you're doing here. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know what the fuck you're doing here. If you think you can, you know, participate in something like that. And you think you're just going to come over here and fucking comment and be like, oh, yeah, we're cool. Yeah, yeah, Turtle Boy, I support you. No, fuck off. I don't want your fucking support. I don't want your money. I don't want anything. I don't want you in Turtle Club. See ya. See ya. I don't I don't need you. I'm not going to sell my fucking soul. Get the fuck out of here. You want to support that shit? fuck out of here you all know what you fucking heard if you sat there fucking silently and said nothing fuck out of here i got no use for you you know exactly who the fuck i'm talking about too don't you Oh, no, I'm not saying that. Like, Jamie, I'm saying you're not welcome here at all. I don't fucking want you here. Like, you can go and play with them. That's fine. Like, you can go play with K. Peter and Leah. You can go play with all of them. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. That's your crew. Do it. Have fun, bro. You ain't welcome here. Period. Oh, the fat bitch is here. Bye. See ya. <clears throat> yeah, it's like we don't, his, na his name's not Lawless. So like enough with the pet names. His name is Jamie Shram. This is him. He allowed a morbidly obese woman to stick a finger up his fucking asshole. He actually did it. He, he actually took it himself. And did it himself. Okay. This is Jamie. All right. So there he is. And he also, he also used the Marine thing. To try to get in the pants of a woman. Who just sent her kid off to fucking Marines. That's how much of a fucking piece of shit he is. That's how much of a fucking piece of shit. Jamie Shram is. So I have no use for him. I mean, look at this fucking retard. Look at him. So, yep. All right. Um, any questions? I mean, I just I just wanted to make that fucking clear. Because you know what you've been hearing. You think that's okay? You think that's okay? You think that's cool? Okay. That's fine. Just I just understand I know I know who you are. I'm not going to fucking embarrass you. I'm not going to blog about you or anything like that. Don't worry about that. But I see. I see who you are. I'd urge you to, like Nick's in saying he's messaging me. I'll talk to Nick privately about it. We'll talk. And I would urge you to do the same. Because I don't, like, let me make it clear. This isn't like I'm going to ban you, whatever. Like, I don't want you here, period. You're not welcome here. Go find another show. Like, I want people here who support the blog and what we do, period. If you don't, that's fine. 
go play over there. Not welcome here. Not welcome here anymore. So any other questions? No, no news on Monica, although she did come back on Facebook briefly to share her GoFundMe, but that's about it. Okay, so Jamie says, Jamie says to me, hey, man. I don't care if you talk about me, but you did show pictures of my names and my family. So would you mind taking that out? Actually, I'm going to do it again. Actually, I'm going to fucking do it again. Instead of that, we're going to do the fucking opposite, Jamie. You think this shit's okay? You think that's fucking okay, Jamie? Nope. You chose this, Jamie. There you go. There's fucking Jamie. Pathetic, pathetic fucking excuse for a fucking soldier. Tried to get in the fucking pants, fucking some woman by using this fucking background in this. Let's fucking fat bitches stick fingers up his asses. Nope. I'm not going to take it down, Jamie. Going to do the exact opposite. Fuck off. Think that's okay? I don't give a fuck if you're polite. Fuck you. Fuck you, Jamie. You're not welcome here, dude. Yikes. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? I appreciate that, Zozo. Appreciate that. St. Shamrock's going to be in touch with the co-host gig. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, Jamie's just a, a fucking loser. I mean, I, I'm not getting into the whole thing. Let's just put it that way. Um, but if you're participating, if you're hanging out with K. Peter, right? And you're hanging out with people like that and, you know, disgraced state troopers who, you know, um, lose their jobs because they lie about being fucking drug dealers and kind of still think they're state troopers and act like it, but everyone's just fucking laughing at them. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to go hang out with them, you do that, bro. Not here. They're the fucking enemy. Glad. Good. Glad to hear that, 13 Kings. When have I hung out? I can't tell. Is he retarded, guys? I can't tell if he's retarded or not. Am I picking on a short bus guy? I can't tell. I really can't tell. Yeah, no, it's not you, my brother. It's not you. It's pretty fucking simple. Why they did? That's gonna get me even more fired up. That shit. They, he's a black supremacist, dude. He doesn't like white people. You're never going to hear about that one ever fucking again. Ever again. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Go play. Go do your thing, Jamie. Those are your friends now. Have fun, brother. See ya. And that, and that includes all of you motherfuckers on here. You know who you are. See ya.
I don't want you here, period. If, you know, like, eventually you just got to be a fucking, you're just like, you know what? I got too much pride for this shit. Ain't going to fucking happen. I don't get walked on. I'm not the guy that gets fucking walked on like that, period. Fuck out of here. Nobody fucking likes you, Jamie. Nobody. You're unlovable. See ya. Yeah, you're welcome whenever you want, Caroline. If anyone wants to call up, they can. By the way, so the other night, oh, you guys missed it. You want to see this? So Kate Peter, speaking of, I got to show you this. This is how cowardly she is. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hmm. What night was that? That would be the live show probably ended the other night. What's today? Today, the 26th. So when's the last time we had a live show? Three days ago. So that would be the 23rd. Now, let me get that screenshot. 23rd at 1117. Is this it? Okay. Yeah. Check this out. All right, so you notice in the fucking, uh, this down here. So people were like, that's not, like, Kate came on, Kate wanted to come on, because I put, I dropped the freaking thing. I'm like, come on, dude, because Brett was in there. I'm like, come on, dude, you want to come up and talk to me? Here you go. I put the link in there. He didn't want to come on. So uh, Kate did, though. So Kate was on there in the background, and to show she wasn't going to porn bomb me or whatever, she was on there. So people were like, that's not her. So the, here I am. I screenshotted it. There she is. <laughs> God, she's fucking ugly. Oh, my God. No wonder she's so obsessed with my fucking sex life. Good Lord. She hasn't got fucked in years. God, I mean, if you don't shower, that'll tend to happen. Goodness gracious. You know she doesn't shave either. Oh, hideous. So she's on there, and I'm like in the background, right? And <laughs> so after the show, I'm like, I'm not going to have her on during the show because I know what she's going to do. She's going to come on here and just be like, so like stupid shit, shit that doesn't matter. Talk about my personal life. And that's what she does. So I'm like, but I'd love to have a conversation with her one-on-one -on -one when she has no one to impress. Will she do it? So as soon as the live ended, and I mean, as soon as the live ended, I brought her up on a stream yard. So her and I could have a conversation. She bounced. She was on there for a second. Me and her face to face. I should have screenshotted it. She saw that she shit her pants and she fucking ran like the coward that she is. Because she's afraid to face me. She's afraid to face me. If it ain't for an audience, if it ain't for a bunch of people where she could just, you know, talk about fucking take shots about your personal life, you know, point out that at least one of us fucking can get laid once in a while. Yeah. Um, if she can't do that, then she doesn't want to face me, period, because she's a fucking coward. They're all, that's one thing my enemies have. They, none of them want to fucking face me. None of them. They all just want to go on their own YouTubes and talk shit, but none of them want to fucking face me, period. Yeah, and so that's it. That's it. Especially... And it, what her and the other one have in common there, it's just like years. I and mean, I'm talking years of messages saying things like, like I've been getting, if you could see the fucking messages I got today, and maybe I'll show them someday. I don't know. Maybe I'll show them. But I feel bad for this person. You know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about. I feel bad for this person. Because I am watching, and it's fucking bad. It's, it's sad to watch it, man. It's sad to watch it. Ever since the show the other night, the messages I've gotten in the last 24, 48 hours are just fucking insane. There's no other way to put it. And it, it's it's painful to, to, to watch it happen to a person that you really respected and you considered a friend. And you're like, you're going down the KP to road, dude. It's fucking, I'm not going to turn you into that. I'm not going to. I'll never turn you into that. Um, I am, it, my heart breaks for him to watch this all fucking happen. And he's clearly having 
like a mental breakdown. Like if you could see the fucking messages I'm getting about this, you would understand. And so, you know, in his way to lash out about this, and again, I've done nothing to him, nothing. You've all seen on the show, I rightfully pointed out that this was all fucking the fat bitch that did all this. That's pulling the strings. We listen to the audio. Go back. and It was a good show. Go back and listen to fucking Tuesday night show. It explains it all. It's all self-explanatory. If you think that's okay, what she's doing to him, and you're over there supporting it, I don't want you here. Period. And you know who you are. You know who you are. You can't pretend to fucking support both guys. You can't. It's, it is what it is. You can't be like, well, yeah, I like you, but I also like this show where that's 100% now dedicated to, you know, for instance, accusing me of making up a mental illness. How about that? Right. Pretending to be mentally ill of faking suicide. Do you think that's cute? You think that's cute? Because y'all fucking sat there and none of you said a word, did you? So if you think that's okay, if you think that's cool, I don't want you here, period. I don't like you here. All of you. So again, like Lionel says, being lured into scorched earth, and I'm not going to do it. All I'm saying is if you're participating in that, if you're participating in that, Kate wanted on my panel. Oh, 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 the other, a little sad little pussy is afraid to come on. But I, I was willing to debate Kate when the cameras weren't rolling her and I could talk. Why didn't she do it then? Because she's bitch made, bitch made. Yeah, it is disgusting to say, Diane. It's absolutely disgusting to say, especially when it's somebody that you considered a good friend that is on there just saying the worst fucking possible things you could say about a person. And you know that he doesn't believe a fucking word of this. There's no, like, I know this person. I know he doesn't believe it. I have messages that say the exact opposite. Like, if you have messages that say, you know, I can't thank you enough for sticking by me after all the times when I would fuck up because you're, because, and cause you trouble and be selfish. I owe you more than I can pay back. You got me off SSI. You gave me a hundred second chances and gave me a voice and a platform that is real as fuck, N word. This is, I mean, I got messages like this all the time. They meant a lot to me. I really appreciated these. The money, the clout, it'll all come someday. Right now, I'm honored, humbled, and grateful for you. No bullshit, no fronting, no homo. They, I, we, need you, foo. Keep fucking swinging. Or how about this one? Anytime I was asked for money, by the way, I was just like instantly like on top of the money you're already being paid. Here's more, dude. Uh, You know, I need 40 bucks for this to come, you know, buy beer for a show today. Say no more. Done. Immediately cash apped. Done immediately. Without a fucking doubt. Do you understand what that's like? To fucking now have that person go on on a fucking show and just dedicate the fucking entire show. To fucking mocking the lowest point of your fucking life. When you tried to fucking kill yourself. Mocking it. Accusing me of faking this. For fucking money. Yeah, that's what I did. I February was the worst month of the year financially for me. I made no money in fucking February. And that's fine. Because I took the fucking month off, basically. And to have this person now... Go and say, like, I'll I'll read more. I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you, Aiden. 
No bullshit. No bullshit. You know? Or another one where during that whole thing with the fucking, uh, during that whole thing with the fucking, um, that police chief in Texas or whatever, uh, that big story I did that got over a million views. There was a lot of people that didn't like Brett on the show and they tuned in for the first time. And I screenshotted some of them and I sent it to him. Like, hey, check out what these people are saying. And he goes, I ain't in trouble, am I? And I go, fuck no. You think I care what these clamps say? He goes, where is that? One of those groups? I said, yeah. He goes, I bit my tongue as long as I could. Tons of views on last night's show. I said, fuck them. I thought it was hilarious. So that's what I do. I stand by fucking people I trust. Or how about this one? It was the first blog I wrote back after taking a mental health break. I get a screenshot of the Clarence Woods Emerson post. It says I, I said, I got a blog coming shortly. I've been working on all morning. Turtle Boy is back. And he screenshots it, and it's got 665 likes in like an hour. And he says, they love you, N-word. And I said, it makes me feel so good, dude. And it did. That really helped me. Like, I can't tell you how much your support meant for me during that time. And I said, these are great people. That's what I told him. And he's sending me messages like, you got this guy. They love you. Or how about this one? I'm not going to be able to do the show tonight. I'm going through. This is not me saying this. I'm going through some shitty shit at home at the moment. So not really up to joking around, man. Fucking awful day. And I said, shit, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Is everything okay? Because I'm a friend and that's what I do. He goes, probably not. Who knows? If anything changes, I'll let you know. I just didn't want to wait till 830 or something to say anything. Mentally, I'm just in a shitty place and having issues at home. And I said, geez, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want to talk about it? He says, no. And I can show these if everybody wants to see him, but he knows they're real. He goes, no, thanks, though. I got to sort out some shit in my head and make some crappy decisions. I appreciate the offer. I said, all right, man, feel better. And let me know if I can do anything. Would you like me to postpone the show until tomorrow night? He says, that's your call, man. If you want to do it, then I can commit to doing it to tomorrow. I'm just fucking useless today. And I said, yep, say no more. Let's do that. That's it. Because that's what I do for friends. If a friend is having a fucking rough day and is telling me they're having mental health issues and whatever, I'm going to have their fucking back. That's what I'm going to fucking do. If other people are attacking my co-host and talking shit about him, I'm going to have his fucking back. When people tell me, people I like and respect, and they come up to me and they're like, you deserve fuck, like, he's no good for your show. Nope, he is. He's real good for my show. That's what I fucking think. And that's the kind of friend I was for a long time. Here's another one. I don't want to, and this is when the fucking channel first started, the after party. I don't want to branch off or no dumb shit. I just want to come up with and test shit for Turtle Club or special shows to earn some loot for you and grow those shot foo. I'll always ask before any shit like this. Word. This is a good friend, man. And to have this person now going on there and saying he's faking mental health issues Like he's fucking talking about my personal sex life. Talking about my dick for some reason. Hanging out with Kate Peter. Hanging out with Ed Salazar. Hanging out with Leah. Like you think that's okay to do that? So if you're over there and you're commenting in the comments, like, oh yeah, like nothing's going on and listening to all this happen. And you're like, this is normal. 
I, I'm okay with this. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to keep commenting. And then I'm going to go back to Turtle Boy and be like, hey, Turtle Boy, we love and support you. No. No. You don't get to do that. You do not get to do that. You're not fucking well. I, and now you know. Now you know. You could have asked, by the way. You could have asked. But now you know. This isn't a choosing sides thing. This is a you supporting somebody who is clearly doing something that he does not want to do. You guys heard all these messages. I have dozens of messages like this. Dozens of him messages of him saying shit like this. Does this sound like a person who is like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm unhappy working for you. Yeah. I'm morally opposed to everything you do. Cause that's what, it, that's his reason for quitting is he's morally opposed to everything that I'm doing. Does that sound like him? No. I feel my heart breaks for him because he has no fucking idea that he is being used and manipulated by a fat bitch. The same bitch who stuck her fingers up Jamie Lynn's asshole, Jamie Shram. That's it. So that's it. Anyway, I mean, that's literally what he's saying. He's, he's morally opposed to, he can't be around, he can't support someone like me because of what I do in my private life, right? But of course, he doesn't mean that. As we all know he doesn't mean that. He knows that's untrue. What happened was he got drunk on his show. He um, started talking. I expressed, I'm like, why is Ed Salazar on this panel? Like, what the fuck? Why is the enemy in here? And then Amanda got lippy about it. And she's, and we go again, go listen to Tuesday's episode. If you haven't heard it already, I play all the relevant tapes. She talks him into it. She talk, you know, she talks him into it and he clearly does not want to do it. And she just talks him into it. And he even messaged me today. He said he was going to message me the next day. He was drunk. He did something he didn't want to do. But by that point, the damage was done and he knew it. And now he has to pretend that he was unhappy the whole time. But we know that's not true. And it's sad to watch. And if you're supporting that, if you're over there supporting him doing something he does not want to do, you're not supporting him. You're supporting Amanda. That's it. That's it. I don't want you here. That's it. Period. So I didn't want, again, I don't, I mean, you know, when you got messages like this all fucking day from a person and they're saying like, I mean, just, just know that you're supporting this, right? Listen, shrimp scampi. You're a cunt with a small dick and an even smaller brain. So shut the fuck up, red meat. You're just a pathetic pussy boy who got sprung by a slut at best. You don't rate a phone call, kid, because you don't matter. Okay, stop PMing broads with your fake mental health act, sad girl. Don't know what that's about. You only use it after you get caught doing gross shit. So fake mental health. You're like a little bitch crying because she got finger fucked and dumped. Wah. What a pussy whipped cunt you are, tiny little boy. Maybe you can get some pity donos. You know, like last time you got caught. LMFAO. Go choke on a cock, you needle dicked little runt. Get off my dick, kid. It's too big for your little hands. Ha 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 ha. Ta ta retard. Your crying expired, son. <clears throat> Just like her need for you. Fucking twink. And I said, it's really sad to see you lashing out like this because you want to play video games with the fat chick and don't have it in you to admit that you're wrong. I did nothing to you. I supported you. I went to court for you. I defended you. I paid you. I never publicly blasted you. 
Now you've basically done, gone and done all the things we mocked Kate and Gaffney for doing for years, using me for clout and pretending to be morally outraged by me accepting donations. Even though you literally begged me for beer money before shows on multiple occasions, and I gave it to you anyway. I don't judge you for being a mentally unbalanced man who's two steps from homeless. I don't care about the language you use or who you offended because you were my friend and I had your back. I guess it didn't go both ways though. I saw the good in you. I thought you had talent that could be molded. And as you've told me several times, being on the show made you a better person. I don't believe you were lying when you said all those nice things. But if you were, then you've proven that you're no different from Kate. I saw the show as a way out of poverty for you and a chance for you to showcase your talents, gain acceptance and love. Things you obviously never had a lot of in need. You've thrown that all away now and you know there's no coming back from it. And you're trying to convince yourself that you made the right choice by pretending to be morally outraged by my personal life choices as if you're in any position to judge. Anyway, I know you don't believe my mental health issues are an act because they're not. You're just saying that because it makes you feel more justified in this really bad decision that you'll certainly regret when you figure out that you've been conned by Amanda. Just as I was never suggest that you sharing the shotgun story, remember that? And the broomstick and the bum bum story were attention seeking lies. I believe that happened to you and that you're damaged because of it. And you're showing me that now. And so that's, uh, you know, he responds by saying, instead of, you know, just engaging me, like, here I am. I'm not insulting you. I'm hurting for you, dude. Like, what are you doing? His response is, ah, uh, and remember, if you're over there talking in the comments, you're supporting this. You're not just over there having a good time. You're, you're supporting this. This is a mental health breakdown, what you're watching right now. This is sad. You're contributing to it. You're not a good person doing that. You need to examine what you're doing, think about it, and make a fucking decision based on that. It needed to be fucking said. Okay? Goes on. Ah, uh, still hung up on Fagney. You sad little rodent. Couldn't even keep a slut pig. Does it hurt? Made you cry like a bitch and make up a fake mental health issue. Poor little reptile. You need a hug, little fella. Ha 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 ha. God, you really are everything people say, huh? An insecure little girl and a fucking pussy who cries over the bitches. It's okay. I'll just keep laughing at you, big guy. You know I got a big dick, in quotes. How fucking gay are you, kid? Because that's one thing. It's like. You know that extra emoji got thrown in there. You know they never show the fucking picture. Why is that? Why is that? If it's so small, huh? If it's so small, why not embarrass me, bro? Yeah, yeah, we know the answer to that. How fucking gay are you, kid? What the fuck? Go die in a hole, boy, alone. You deserve it. Remember shitting on every chick that worked for you? I do. I'll show them. So who worked for me? We've got, um, so he's going to show who what? So South Shore Turtle Girl. If you could reach her, I'd love to talk to her. I haven't talked to her in four years. North Shore Turtle Babe, still friends with. Merrimack, I talked to her once in a while. Feisty, I talked to her once in a while. We're cool. Feisty hates Brett. She, she left because of Brett. Most, most of them, by the way, left because I sided with Brett. I wouldn't, they wanted me to silence him. This is kind of the root cause. I never told the story, I don't think. In 2017, I had a bunch of bloggers and Feisty went at it with Brett openly on some Fall River page. And she wanted me to, to, to get him to shut up. But I'm like, you're going at it with him. I'm like, you guys both should stop. You know what I mean? What are you doing? You're, what are you starting to show with Brett for? Because that's what I did. I stood up for Brett. I saw the good in him. She wasn't happy about that. That was the end of our relationship. The others, that was one of the big factors they had in leaving. Was they didn't feel safe around him. Because he knew their identities. 
And I'm like, he's not going to do anything to you guys. Stop it. He would never do that. I don't know now. But yeah, go ahead and call them. Go ahead and call them. You're the reason they left, my guy. I mean, who else is this? Manch. Big loss there. She didn't fucking work. She got me sued. Western Mass Turtle Girl. Still friends of her. If I invited her on the show tomorrow, she'd come on. No problems. I mean, who else is there, really? Intern? Intern will come on whenever the fuck I ask him to. No problem. No problem. So, um, more, it says, remember shitting on every chick that worked for you? I do. Go beat your red meat, boy. It's all you have. Or show it on, quote, unquote, Turtle Club. LMFAO. Fucking Connie Carney. And I said, I see you're not going to address all the things I pointed out about you because you know they're all true. You also fake cried on your stream the other night. This is just sad at this point. Congrats. You've become Kate. Have a nice life. I wish you nothing but the best with Amanda. You guys make a great couple. LMFAO. So you're not just repeating what I said. Holy shit, are you retarded? I wish you nothing but the worst AIDS in. He actually wrote that AIDS in. How old are we? And hope you get what you deserve. My issue is you suck as a person, a friend, a father, and a husband. You as a human being are less than the people you poorly write about. The red meat retard who cries over pussy. How soft are you, son? She hurt you, little fella? Ah, let's play a game. I go, well, I mean, you did cry through the whole thing. It was pretty cringe, but I understand you had to put on a show. Um, I noticed you didn't address any of the things I pointed out about you, probably because you know it's all true. And pretending to be morally outraged is all you have. I said, I'm a good friend, as I was to you. I'm a good father, as you know. My life isn't perfect, but I do have family that loves and supports me. I also have a lot of readers who do, as you've pointed out repeatedly to me. Did you not mean that when you said it? Were you fake with me like Kate was? Or are you faking now? My guess is the latter. Anyway, I'm not going to lash out on you because you want me to. And without me, you're irrelevant. It's really sad that you're being used by a fat chick like this, but we're all praying for you. And he says, pray for yourself, sad girl. Keep sending the puppies. I'll keep kicking them out. And this, and this is again, by the way, I'm like, that's why like, don't, don't go there. You know, I don't, I'm not sending anyone there. If people are going there and starting shit, they ain't cause of me. So LMFAO. And of course he's doing the Kate thing where every troll he's, I mean, he wants, he wants me to like get in this flame war with it and I'm not doing it. I'm saddened by this, but I'm really more disappointed in the people that think it's okay to contribute to this. And you know who you are. There's about half a dozen of you that are over there commenting like nothing fucking happened. If you want to be the new Ashley Acevedo and go over there, that's fine. But you're a shitty fucking person. Just know that you're a shitty person. And I, I would hope that you're better than that. He goes, um, So one of them, they're accusing me of this fucking girl, Tori. He goes, pray for yourself, little sad girl. Keep sending the puppies. I'll keep kicking them. LMFAO. Weak little jerk off gremlin. Go bang Tori again, fuck boy. Whatever that is. Why would you do that, pig? No wonder she walked on you, the soft bitch boy that you are. Poor rejected AIDS in. And I just responded by saying, yikes. What else can I say to that besides yikes? And I said, um, you know, I, I sent them the messages and I'm like, do you believe like all these things you said about me? I'm like, did you not believe those? And he goes, yes, at the time I meant it. So he's saying, I meant all those things I said to you about, you know, you being saving my life and all this shit. I still think it was fun and shit, but you suck. Seriously. 
This is a man who doesn't know what he's saying. If you're over there participating in this, you're contributing to a mental health breakdown. Brett's not really the bad person here. You are. You are. And now you know. Because I didn't tell you before because I didn't want to air this shit. But now you know. And if you continue to participate in this, you're contributing to this. This is not normal behavior. You care about you and whoever can do for you. That's all. No biggie. Go cry to the chicks you've been threatening. I got receipts. And got go be you, turtle kid. I'll react to your puppies how I see fit. And do whatever I want. You do the same. Okay. Okay. So that's it. That's it. Anyway. I, I, that needed to be said. Anybody else have any questions? Me too. He was a good friend. And it's and it's sad because I know that he he does regret this and he just he knows that there's no taking it back but he's too stubborn to just take a step back and you know be a man like he's not used to people like you every i feel like every relationship he has ends in a flame like this it's like not all adult relationships have to end like that my guy you know mine all don't end like that i know it seems like that but they don't Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's clearly not a good friend. I agree. I mean, I was played. I mean, whatever. This is just another person I trusted, just yet another person I trusted, allowed to get close to me. And it's like, that's why I do this solo. It's like every person I trust fucking burns me. No, I'm not considering Rebel. Stop it. And Rebel knows that. Yeah, they did. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, he warned me about Kate. He knows Kate's a shitty person. He's not going to become like, like Kate's over there on the channel. But yeah, I mean, we all, we're all Mrs. Banter. It is what it is. But again, blame Amanda. I mean, it's, it's all her fault. And he, he chose this to remember. And again, if that's what he wants, then go for it. But if you're supporting him, you're telling him like, yeah, this is cool, dude. I, I support this. I support your mental health breakdown. Keep doing what you're doing. You don't give a fuck about him if you're over there doing that. You don't give a fuck about him. Mister. Yeah, loyalty, yeah. It, to me, it is. I'm actually loyal. Yeah. All right. Any other, anybody else have any questions? Okay, see, this is why ban him. Ban his ass. Block, done. Nikki is funny. Who's Nikki? Did I miss Nikki? Is that a chick? Connie is this guy that I wrote about a couple years ago. Uh, not even write about it. Kate Peter wrote about her. He actually came on the show. Disappeared for a year, came back last year around Thanksgiving, started his own YouTube channel. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention to him much. He's got a thing. He had a thing for me, but I think that's died down a bit. And now he's got a thing for, you know, Brett, and that's fine. They can have their little flame war. I don't care. You know? Uh, I, I feel part of me feels bad for him, Teresa. It does. And like, that's kind of where I'm coming from. But like, part of me is also like, you know, come on, man, you're a grown up. You can make your own decisions. You know, like you're not, you can stand up to her, but I guess then that's between him and his shrink, I guess. But I mean, my diagnosis is he wants to feel appreciated and valued. And I don't think he's gotten a lot of that. I don't think he's gotten a lot of that. I appreciate and value him. Maybe I didn't vocalize them enough. I don't know. 
but um, I did. And she went in there, and she's probably been all up in his fucking head for you know, months now. He's, like, he's using you, Brett. He doesn't respect you like I do. Probably a lot of that shit going on. <laughs> Did you hear he said that? <laughs> How silly is that, Brett? How ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm calling the shots here. Yeah. Classic. Classic. We all see it. We all see it. So, and what I see more than anything is the people who are over there commenting. And I notice a lot of them have disappeared. Maybe they've made the decision. That's fine. Again, I don't want your money. Although some of you guys are in Turtle Club. I don't, if you're going to be supporting that, see ya. I don't want your blood money. See ya. Okay, any other questions? They're being con I don't have time to get into the whole Connie thing, but let me sum it up real shortly. Connie was in the house. He was getting evicted or something like that, and he was being really rude to the landlord, and they taped it, and Kate wrote about it and shit on him, and then Connie came on the show, and I shit on him a little bit, and we had a good time. And it was all funny and shit like that, and then Connie disappeared for a year. Then he messaged me on Thanksgiving, but I was busy with my family, so I didn't see it and read it, and he was asking me if he could make things better, but because I didn't get back to him within 24 hours, he freaked out, and he yelled at me, and he started to, you know, going off of me, so I realized his whole attempt to re repair his image was disingenuous, and so then he went and launched his own stupid YouTube channel, and not many people watched it, but it became so cringe so bad that it almost became a thing that people started watching and that uh you know he started getting into flame wars with kate and they became friends with kate and then he became enemies with kate and then he became uh started going at brett and then brett made his thing going after him and they kind of used each other for views and, and that's the story of connie It does. Yeah, it doesn't just happen overnight. Exactly. That does not happen overnight. Yeah. So it's a long story. Go read the. There's only like one blog I think about Connie. Maybe two. I don't know. I mean, that's he. He got. He agrees. That's that's the basic gist of it. I mean, it's that's the best I can do in thirty seconds. Oh, good. Kate's here. Hey, Kate. How come you didn't come on after the panel, Kate? Are you afraid of me? You that afraid of me? <laughs> I should do Turtle Boy stories, summations, and like auctioneer voice. That would be funny. Okay. I wasn't even really reading the comments when I was talking about the whole thing, but I need it needed to be said. It needed to be said. I feel bad for the guy, kind of. All right, any more questions before we call it a night? I mean, if you're still going over there, no disrespect, but I'd rather you not be here. And that's all I'm saying. I'm not making you choose, but if you think it's okay to support that mental health breakdown, no offense, no hard feelings, just not, I, I, I can't, I can't like watch people do that to somebody that like clearly I cared about and participate in that sort of mental health breakdown and contribute to that. And just be like, yeah, we're cool. Yeah. Not really. Not really. Because you know now. Maybe you didn't know before. Now you know. Now you know. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people saw that. And it was just like, well, because again, you came on here. I don't shit on him, do I? I know he wants the fight because, that again, that seems to be the only way he knows how to end a relationship. But I'm not doing that, dude. Sorry.
Yeah, the Gennetti part was good too. Fuck him. He's the one. I didn't intend to do the Brett thing tonight, but it's been on my mind. And the Gennetti thing is the real reason I came on live. How the fuck are we seven point favorites in that? I don't get. I mean, I understand we're looking good lately, but like, I don't want to be that team that's like favored and shit. Like, how did that happen? Against the Titans, they have the best record in the AFC. <coughs> hmm. Don't do what, Mega? Half the Titans team, I mean, they got Tannehill, right? I mean, who's not? Obviously, Henry's out. Who is Julio ever playing? Street clothes. But didn't they win? Who did they beat without Henry? They've beaten somebody good without Henry, didn't they? Shut Oh, don't get me excited on pie. It's another horrible food. Horrible. Julio out. Good. Julio never plays. AJ Brown. Oh, okay. That explains a lot. No AJ Brown. That's not good. And we're home. That's not good. All right, guys, I guess um, unless anybody else has any last-minute questions, we'll call it a night. Hopefully you had a good turkey day. I'll be back tomorrow. I, do, I, get some, I have some new entertainment we can do tomorrow. So don't get me started on the cranberry sauce there, Super Rebel City. All right. All um, right. So I guess thank you guys for joining me on this impromptu live. We will see you all for the next episode of the Turtle Boy Live on tomorrow night. Peace, Turtle Riders.